If you guys are out there looking for a decent sub $100 tablet to keep you entertained during quarantine, you're not gonna wanna miss this video. Stay tuned. What's going on guys? It's Quizzy Dog here and like I mentioned before, today we're going to be taking a look at a sub $100 tablet that you guys can pick up on Amazon right now and it's actually this guy right here. So this is the Yanko S7. It's in their Matrix Pad lineup and this guy for what you get is actually pretty darn affordable. So we're gonna jump in and see exactly what you get in the box, we'll boot it up, we'll give it a test run and then We'll conclude everything with the overall thoughts to see if by chance this guy here is actually worth the money that they're asking for. I know a lot of people out there are wanting to stay entertained and really not wanting to spend a lot of money. So having something in this pricing category, I think is actually pretty cool. So here is the tablet. We're gonna get a better look of it later on, but I have taken this out. I haven't powered on or used it at all yet. But overall build quality, you can see, of course, there is a little bit of flex. It is primarily plastic, but I mean, at the end of the day, for what they're asking for price-wise, I don't think it's too unreasonable just by build quality standards. Taking a look at what else you get in the box, we're gonna take this little flapper do out. In here, we do have like a, just a little spec sheet, I guess. We have your, uh, media pad or matrix pad uh, user guide. And then of course you do have the charge cable in here as well. Now, no charge brick at all. I mean, charge bricks are a dime a dozen, but just know if you, for some reason, don't have anything uh, to charge this brick wise, it doesn't come with one. This is just gonna be your standard USB-A to what looks like micro USB for your charger. And that's really it. So cheap point number one, missing a brick. Not a deal breaker, but if you don't have one, just keep that in mind. Um, other than that, let's go ahead and let's turn this guy on and see exactly what we're gonna get presented to us. Now, one thing that I noticed as well is there actually is a little bit of a screen protector. Uh, maybe I'll do some close-up shots of it later, but if you guys can see by the camera cutout, it looks like there is a little piece of plastic I don't know if that's supposed to stay on there or if that's just for shipping, but I mean, we'll find out eventually. Uh, going over some of the specs of this while we wait for it to load, this guy here does have 32 gigabytes of onboard storage. It does accept a micro SD card to expand upon that as well. Uh, seven inch screen on here. And what else do we have for specs? Seven inch screen, front and rear cameras, quad core CPU or quad core processor on it, which is actually pretty cool as well. And here is the startup screen. So we're just gonna hit start on this. I'm not gonna bother signing into my personal uh, Gmail account. We're just gonna rock this right away, uh, going through the regular motions. Now, uh, one thing you'll notice right here, if by chance you guys can happen to see that, is there is no five gigahertz Wi-Fi on this. It is only 2.4. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna throw in my 2.4 password here. Keyboard, for the most part, feels pretty good so far. It's pretty responsive. We're now connecting to the Wi-Fi and we will just kind of buzz through this off camera and then I'll show you guys what it actually looks like set up. All right, so we have it all set up as you guys can see here and I took a little bit of time off camera to really take a look at all of the specs. So we talked a little bit before about this being a seven inch screen. It is actually an IPS display. So colors actually aren't terrible. Uniformity is pretty good. And like I said, we're gonna get a closer look uh, in a different camera angle here very shortly. Uh, the front camera on there is a two megapixel. The back is a five. So. I mean, it should be passable. We'll test them in a couple of moments, but as far as like video calls and maybe keeping up to date with people if you can't see them one-on-one, -on -one, might not be too bad. Um, the actual speed of this with two gigs of RAM, and again, I think a 1.3 gigahertz quad-core processor, it's actually not bad. 
Now, unlike some of the other more expensive competitors like your Samsungs and your Acers and different things like that in the tablet market, uh, this actually has no bloatware. So this is supposed to be a completely clean Android Pie 9.0, and it certainly feels like it. It feels plenty fast. I'm gonna turn that volume down because of course there's stuff wanting to load like crazy on here. But let's actually switch up this camera angle and let's jump into how this guy actually runs and what you guys can expect performance wise from the Vanco or Vanyo, however you want to say it, I turned you off. Matrix Pad S7. All right, so that's pretty much gonna wrap up today's video, guys. As you can see, I'm actually in different apparel because this was shot over two days. Quarantine life's got me kind of busy with the family, so I still wanted to kind of pick up where we left off and get this information out there. So we took a look at the overall build quality to see exactly what you guys are gonna get for your money. I've done a little bit of comparison with what you can expect gaming-wise, maybe productivity-wise, and just overall use case and how well it either works or doesn't work. And at the end of the day, I think it's pretty good for, again, sub $100. Don't expect iPad Pro 2020 results from something like this because, again, it is like super bare bones basic, but if it's for a kid, if it's for something to just 
maybe consume a little bit of media, especially if it's something that you don't really care if it gets used and abused, then I think this is actually a pretty good option. So uh, if you guys agree with me, let me know in the comments below. If not, I'd love to hear why as well. And until the next video, guys, my name is Quasi Dog. You guys have been awesome, and we'll catch you all in the next one. Take care.